when I got that phone call, it was sort of all my problems, my trouble, my sickness and everything. Totally blanked that out. That experience was something I'll never forget. It was the first day of a new life. My mind went from being in hospital sick to my daughter needs me. You sort of just forget about your own troubles. I was gone one way or another. I would have walked up there to get her if I had to. I lost Kaylee when she was six. My mother was, uh, took off down New South Wales. I didn't know where she was. And I hadn't seen her in 10 years. And had that phone call come through on Father's Day, it was Kaylee. I thought, oh, she's ringing me for Father's Day. How great, you know, but it wasn't what I expected. Me and mum got kicked out of our house. I was going through such a horrible time being with my mum. She saw a way of getting away from her mother down in, at Leeton and it was a bad mistake and that's how she ended up in up at Harvey Bay. The 28 year old bloke and it wasn't the nicest of things to happen to her so I told Jackie what was happening and she couldn't help me enough. Without her it wouldn't have been possible really because I probably would have got halfway there and run out of fuel. <laughs> I was talking to the child welfare. They turned up that morning saying my dad was in Harvey Bay and if I wanted to see him. I was up there for three days before I actually got Kaylee out of child protection. I got the call to say, yep, we'll meet you on a park bench by the seaside, you know. And I haven't seen dad ever since I was like six. I had no clue what he looked like. A lot of thoughts were going through my mind what she was going to look like. But the minute I spotted her, that was it. I knew it was Kaylee. A lot of tears flowed that day. <laughs> Pretty much ran up to him, gave him a big hug, crying. <laughs> it's just my surprise he didn't change it one bit. A little grey, but he didn't change. Great having a daughter again. <laughs> it was so scary to take that step. It was pretty hard to go from being on my own to have the responsibility of having my daughter. Carly came on the scene and I couldn't have her there at the men's refuge. Unfortunately in Warwick there is no emergency accommodation for youth or for families. Got him into a caravan park just as, as a um, stopgap until we could um, find him a more permanent home. It wasn't the nicest place, it was middle of summer, screaming hot, but it was a roof over our head, we were together and yeah we made the most of it. It's not ideal, a small caravan with a 15-year-old girl and himself. We had to try and work hard to find him another tenancy. You know, I never thought of the consequences of having a daughter. I never, it was more of Kaylee needed me and that was it. We just had to wait.